Testing. Alrighty, guys, what is up? And welcome back to another episode of Back to the Future the Game. In the last episode, uh, we went back and we actually got Aini off the rooftops where he was stuck in the previous episode because of one of, of the uh, younger Doc's inventions. And basically, the older Doc just, as Edna was distracting the younger Doc, just used a DeLorean to get him off. And then... Uh, we went to Doc, and we talked to him, and we're like, yo, uh, we found Arthur, he's at the movie theaters, we gotta go get him, and we have to bring him to Trixie Trotter, cause she thinks she has a way to get rid of Kid Tannen. So here you go. Let's go talk to Trixie. Uh, Trixie? Yeah? Guess who's waiting in the alley to talk with you? Huddy? The one and only. It wasn't easy to track him down. I had Come to- Come for me, cue ball. I'm taking a smoke break. Atta girl. That's disgusting. Hey, you. Huh? Yeah, jerk. I saw you making eyes at my unit. Really? That's- Sorry, I don't have time for a fight. Why, you- I'll never get to Carnegie Hall at this rate. All right, fella. I think you're done for the night. Hey, where do you think you're going? Me? Yeah, you. What do you know about this? Uh, nothing. I... Ah! Trixie? Break silver cue ball. Whatever you say, babe. What was that? I know what that was. And my gut is telling me that, well, you guys heard gunshots outside, right? And, um, we saw Trixie. We didn't see Arthur. That could only mean one thing, guys. One thing I... And if my gut is correct, that is not a good thing. Yep, I know it. Artie? He shot Arthur. You missed a hell of a party, buddy. Kid, well, what happened? Oh, you're gonna love this. So, I'm hanging out in the club when all of a sudden I get an urge to drain the lizard, right? I come out into the alley, and who do I see? None other than that scrawny, subpoena-answering rat, Artie McFly. And get this. The little worms whisper in a way I'll conquistadorial like with my Trixie. Oh, no. Oh, snap. Actually, I pull out Kid Jr. and prepare to put a couple bullets in McFly's head. Which causes Artie's nose to start bleeding because he's a big wuss. And then... <laughs> and then... <laughs> what? Trixie literally gets down on the knees and begs me to let him live. <laughs> huh? Seriously. Down on the knees, crying and begging for McFly's life. So, uh, what did you do? What could I do? I fired two shots in the air and told Artie to take a high... Oh, that's what that blood was. It was his nose. I got plenty of mercy. Besides, now Trixie owes me big time. And Kid Tannen always collects on his debts. Always. Well, that's, bl that's blood that's better than what I thought it was. So what do we do now? To talk to him about his wall of fame. Okay, then. Whatever that means. Trixie Trotter's plan. More like Trixie Trotter fails. Welcome back, sir. Oh. Thank you, Mama 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 Matt Cheese. What's it gonna take to get Trixie to squeal on Kid? Hey, what? So about this uh portrait gallery of yours. What about it? What's it all about? Who are those guys? Even though we already heard about the this. caricatures hanging along the Wall of Honor commemorate those who are no longer with us on account of having ticked off one Irving Kid Tannen. They're the guys the kids killed. Irving Kid Tannen? Of course not. They're just a bunch of guys that Kid... The sarcasm is not funny, by the way. And no. at a later date, turned up dead. It's a, a what do you call it, a, a circumstantial coincidence. Yeah. Talk to you later. Hey, look, a paying customer. Oh. Hey, what? 
What's Parker's problem? Ah, Danny Parker. Now his problems follow him around like a pack of wolves. Really? Oh, yeah. Job troubles, dating oh. troubles, psychiatric troubles, you name it. You get him in the right frame of mind, he'll talk your ear off about him. Do you know what happened to Trixie out there? She seems pretty freaked out. You talk weird, you know that? But no, I don't know nothing about Trixie's emotional state. Kid doesn't pay me nearly enough to pour drinks and babysit his crazy girlfriends. What are you drawing? Another celebrity caricature. You drew those? Prohibition ain't gonna last forever. Huh. I gotta have a skill I can fall back on when all this goes away. Talk to you later. Hey, look! A paying customer. How are you gonna draw? <gasps> oh! You think you could draw a picture of this guy? Sure. Hey, that looks like that Artie McFly think. Hmm, I never noticed that before. Hey, uh, can you give him a hat like Artie wears? Voila! Nice job. Now, go tell them chumps at the New Yorker. I don't need another caricature of my dad. Hey, what? Talk to you later. Hey, look, a paying customer. The shrew didn't burrow deep enough. You in? Why not? Something tells me black's gonna hit. Twenty-three. Yeah. Sorry about this, Dad. I think we have to go talk to her again. Uh, Trixie? Yeah? I talked to Kid. Oh? He told me about Artie. Oh. It was awesome of you to plead for his life. And it was uh, awesome of Kid to spare it. So you see why I gotta get rid of all the dirt I got on Kid. As long as he's loyal to me, I gotta stay loyal well, to him. Well, that's a bum. About Artie McFly. What about him? Have you heard from him? Is he okay? Oh, yeah, he, he's okay. Are you sure? Believe me, if he wasn't okay, I'd be the first to know. I don't know how to tell you this, but I think you should check out the Wall of Fame. Why? What is it? Artie! I don't believe it! Ah! a deal! Artie was supposed to be safe! I don't know what to say. Well, I do. Felony tax evasion. What? That's... Before he died, Artie was teaching me about all sorts of stuff. Literature, history, accounting. And I made a big discovery while I was copying all of kids' books. This establishment ain't entirely on the up and up. Really? Oh, I knew about all the gangster stuff. That kind of thing you expect from tough guys like Kid. But when I found out he ain't been paying taxes on his speakeasy profits, well, cheating Uncle Sam is one step over the line. Once I turn this over to the police, they'll throw the book at him. This book? Hey, copper! Ooh! Molly Mender.
Get the gangster's girl to do the right thing. He's not interested. Figures. Half the police force is in Tannen's pocket. Give me a few minutes to work on him. I've got a hunch he'll come around. Boss? Do you mind? I'm trying to have a good time here. I think you'll want to see this. Dynamite? Crazy? Bringing a stick of dynamite into my club? That's just it, boss. It's all over the place. I think our speakeasy arsonist is getting ready to strike again. Doc! Secret entrance! Oh, that's freaking awesome! He's got a back cave with this place! Okay, so let's go talk to Parker now. Danny. You! So about those troubles. Eh, I'm not really in the mood to talk about them right now. I just want to drink and listen to Trixie. See you later, Danny. I'll be here. I have an idea. Uh, Trixie? Yeah? I really like your voice. Thanks. You should hear me when I ain't so under the weather. You're sick? Oh, yeah. Sore throat. That's why I'm giving Q-Ball so many extended solos tonight. Now, how do I... I kind of wondered about that. I don't care. But what are those? Are they lyrics for one of your songs? I haven't memorized them yet. Do you know Sister Christian? Do religious tunes. How about Stairway to Heaven? I sing popular songs, kiddo. You want hymns? Go to a church. You know what you'd sing great? This one song by. Take it up with the piano player. He does the set list. You know what you'd sing great? This one song by. Take it up with the piano player. He does the set list. Break a leg out there. Thanks. Cue ball. Hey. Back off, kid. I'm trying to entertain some people here. Ha! -ha! Actually, I changed uh, the name. Trixie Trot. Trixie Trotter's Revenge. There we go. Come on, Officer Parker. Start letting those tears flow. Let them flow. Let them flow. Let them come out of your eyeballs. And that's called my sad singing. <laughs> Sorry for not talking much. You. So about those troubles. It all started on uh, June 14th. I was chasing down one of Tannen's boys. When this... Uh, Oh, we're in 13 minutes, so we have about 10 more minutes. Ran my car off the road. No. That was when we came to the 30s. Later, I, I lost track of a witness. The poor schlub hasn't been heard from since. That wasn't your fault. And then, to top it off, I somehow managed to lose custody of an 80-year-old arsonist. When not one, but two of those godforsaken space cars showed up and whisked him away. That's unbelievable. That's what the chief said. Demoted me on the spot. My family sent me to a psych psychiatrist because they thought I was seeing things. And worst of all, my gal Betty left me because she thinks I'm a bad provider and a head case. <laughs> Betty? As in Jennifer's grandma, Betty? <laughs> what? Listen, Danny, it's really important that you get back together with Betty. Oh, that ship sailed. What the heck with her? I got a little secret that'll set me up with women twice as classy as Betty will ever be. You've got a secret? What is it? I don't think I should tell you. When I'm sad like this, I don't think straight. But listen. Yes? I like you. <laughs> You're my new best friend. <laughs> Shouldn't you be arresting Tannen? For what? 
Well, for running a speakeasy, for one thing. Well, I like this speakeasy. So there. Besides, if I arrested him, I'd have to arrest you and me and everyone else in here. And that's just way too much work for one little cop like me. You know, drinking that much is really bad for your health. What are you, my mother? More like future grandson-in-law. What? Never mind. So about that secret. I don't think I should tell you. When I'm sad like this... Well, we're getting far. But listen. Yes? I like you. You're my new best friend. See you later, Danny. I'll be here. Sheet music. Hmm, what will change his mood? Let's see. Secret song! There we go. Whisper in my ear. By the way, sorry if you hear a noise upstairs. All stars playing one of his instruments. Sharing love, they're not meant for blaring love. Whisper in my ear. So no one can hear. Shh. Whisper in my ear. Let me read you. Oh, uh, Parker! By the way, Parker makes me think of Peter Parker. You! So about that secret. Oh yeah, my secret. Well, you're my pal, so I can tell you... We're at about 16, 17 minutes. I've been working for Tannen for over a month now. What? It's true. All I gotta do is look the other way. While evidence is getting destroyed, or a truck full of gin is coming across the county line, and Tammy makes sure an extra bunch of bills makes their way into my pay envelope. Great deal, huh? No, not a great deal. What's the problem? People need to drink, right? As long as no one's getting hurt, why shouldn't Daniel J. Parker make a few bucks on the action? What about Trixie Trotter? She'd like to leave Kid, but she knows what would happen if she tried. Uh, poor kid. Stuck with a big thug like that. Oh, God. I've made a horrible mistake. I thought if I could get my hands on some money, that Betty'd take me back. But when she finds out what I've done, she'll never even talk to me again. <laughs> what have I done? Well, I think I can fix that problem. <laughs> Come on, Danny. Pull yourself together. It's not so bad. Not so bad? I'm a corrupt cop who's lost his only chance at true love. How and our pop. So bad. <laughs> Hang in there, Danny. Oh, God. I don't care. Uh, Trixie? Yeah? Break a leg out there. Thanks. You should care. Okay. Wait, what? Oh, we gotta go to Edna! I think. Wait, um, let me see if there's anything I can say to Parker. Danny. You! Trust me, things will get better. Just keep listening to the music. Why? None of the words help anymore. <laughs> I don't think there's anything in the speakeasy that can turn this guy around right now. Hang in there, Danny. Oh, God. Uh, yes, we gotta... So, uh, 
We're coming towards the end of another episode of Back to the Future the Game. I thought we were going to finish it in like five videos, but clearly uh, that didn't seem to work, to be honest. I guess that's Grandpa's nose blood. And uh, if you did like, leave a like. Because I will continue this series. Edna. Let's go talk to her. Edna. What? What was that song you were singing earlier? Do you like it? I wrote it myself. It really gets the toes tapping at the Stay Sober Society meetings. Although I suppose that could be the shakes. Would you like to hear it again? Uh, sure. I knew if I waited <gasps> enough, somebody would request it. You say you've lost your self-respect, but you should care. It's not too late to redirect and start to care. Don't despise the good and pure. Time to rise up from the sewer. Wash off all that foul manure. Show the world you care. You should care. You should care. Sorry if it's really loud. What people think of you. Of goals that you could name. Reclaiming your good name is what you ought to do. You should care. You should care. If your reputation is in disrepair, it's not going to hurt you to reclaim your virtue. For you should care. Catchy. You really think so? Yeah, it's uh got a good hook to it. One needs a good hook if one is fishing for souls. Do you think I could have a copy of your You Should Care lyrics? I've uh got a club of my own that could really use some inspiring. Sure. Let me just get a page out of the hymnal. There you are. Hey, thanks. See ya. Keep fighting the good fight. Alrighty, guys, we're gonna go back uh, to the club, and this will conclude another episode of Back to the Future the Game. If you did like it, then definitely leave a like. If you want to see more, then definitely subscribe. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, etc., please leave those. I'm changing the title again, sorry. Then definitely leave those in the description box below. I will hope to see you guys in the next episode of Back to the Future the Game, where hopefully we will finish the episode because I've been really wanting to get this episode done. And uh, I'll see you guys later. Peace.